Right now at five, there are lots of questions about how the COVID-19 vaccine is given. In fact, a 10 TV viewer asked Star Verify team about aspiration before you get your shot. 10 TV's Karina Nova explains what that is and verifies the claim. Our viewer Tony writes in asking about something that's been spreading online about how the COVID-19 vaccine is administered. It says if you're going to get vaccinated, make sure that the nurse or doctor aspirates the injection site first. If the vaccine is injected intravenously, you are at a substantial risk at heart failures like myocarditis or pericarditis, and that mRNA vaccine should not enter the bloodstream. Tony asks, is this true? Our sources to get the answer are the Infectious Diseases Society of America, the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and Dr. Joseph Gustavo with Ohio Health. First, Dr. Gastaldo explains the idea behind aspirating or pulling back the plunger when the needle is injected with the vaccine. The thought process is, you know what, as an extra layer of protection, when the needle is in the deltoid or the shoulder muscle, let's pull back on the plunger to make sure there's no return of blood, uh, which would signify that the, vac that the needle is actually in a vein and not in the muscle. And he explains the social media advice partly stems from a recent study. I am aware of a study that was done in clinical infectious diseases in August of 2021, where they directly injected a vaccine into the vessels of a mouse. And in that study model, the mice did get an, um, myocarditis. But again, when we are giving the vaccines, we are not injecting them directly into somebody's blood vessels. They're going into a muscle. The Infectious Diseases Society of America states that the World Health Organization and the CDC no longer recommend the aspiration of a syringe plunger during intramuscular injections. The best practice is not to aspirate. You can see where people want to connect the dots and say, oh my gosh, as an extra layer of protection, I want them to pull back on the plunger to make sure they're not in a blood vessel when they inject it into my shoulder or my deltoid. Guess what? There are no major blood vessels that are there. If that was the case, we would do blood draws from there or start IVs there, and we don't do that in patients in the hospital. So we can verify, no, the nurse or doctor should not aspirate the vaccine when injecting into the deltoid muscle where your COVID-19 vaccine is administered. With this Verify, I'm Karina Nova.